Hello everyone, thank you for joining me at Everything Aero Pilates. Right now I wanted to go ahead and compare a three chord performer with the newest five chord. This is the model that just uh, was selling at QVC most recently of the five chords and at HSN, which is currently sold out. It's still available on the staminaproducts.com website and it is still available through the eBay seller. It can be purchased, refurbished and a customer return through the eBay seller that I'm going to link below, or it can also be purchased brand new from that eBay seller. What I was interested to find out about these two machines, when they're laid side by side, they are actually the same length. I have these ends lined up, and um, not perfectly, but lined up, and you can see, maybe you can't see, but they go to the same length in the back. So that was interesting to find, and I think I've heard Marjolyn Bergman say before that these are seven feet long and they're that means actually all of their models are rated for a four six person to a uh, six six person so anybody who's four foot six inches or six foot six inches can utilize these machines and um the thing about the three cord you can see i'm going to go ahead and get off of it the bed here is much more narrow now i'm going to go ahead and uh, measure the beds for you so you can see this bed on the three cord is, you know, the main part of where you lay is about 17 inches. The rest of it uh, to the sides, a little curve, would be about 18 inches. On the five cord, the bed is 21 inches from where you lay and 20, or I'm sorry, 20 inches from where you lay just on the top and 21 inches from like the curve to the curve. So you have three more inches on this bed and those three inches don't sound like a lot, but they do make a pretty big difference in your comfort or, you know, especially for a larger person to have more width. Now, the other thing that you can't necessarily see, let me let these go. I'm going to um, take the straps off so you can look at the actual bed size difference and I'll measure as well. So from the bottom of the three cord, to the top of the frame, and I'm not measuring the headrest, I'm just measuring the frame, because that's what's gonna determine your range of motion, is 35 inches. Now from the bottom of the five cord, to the end of the frame, is 37 inches. So you get two more inches of length on this bed. And I'm gonna tell you when that's good. If you are taller, you're gonna like this little bit longer bed. It's gonna support underneath you a little further down. If you're shorter, however, and you, let's say like for instance, I have a pretty short torso. It's wide, but it's short. And my rear stops about here. This is an example. I don't know exactly where my rear stops. But I'm gonna get a little less range of motion than if my rear stops the same place here. So I get to do a deeper squat when I'm doing my um, toe warm, I mean my leg work warm up, if I'm on the three chord than if I'm on the five chord. Now I have a hack for that, I'm gonna show that in a later video, but that's something to consider. If you don't have to modify your machine and you're a little shorter, a three or four chord, which these are three or four chords are the same size frames. And like you said, like you see, they're the same length, but the width here is a little less than the width of the five chord. Okay, so if you're taller, a five chord is a great deal. And I'm five foot, so I think even like maybe a couple inches taller, five two, five three, would be perfectly fine on the five chord. And again, with my hack, you'll be perfectly fine on the five chord. But other than that, you really want to probably go with the three or four chord. Okay. Now I already did the hack on this five chord, and that's why you can see it goes lower down. So I can get a better range just <laughs> because I already hacked this machine, and you know, hack might be the right word too. Um, I can get a deeper squat with this five chord right now than I can even with this three chord. However, if this five chord was not hacked um, to make it for a shorter person, I would get a better range of motion and a deeper squat on a three, a smart, smaller three or four chord frame than I would on this longer um, five chord bed. That's because those two inches make a pretty big difference when you're trying to get a good range of motion. The way that this five chord is, it has a capability of five and a half chords. And if you change them all out to red, you would have a capability of seven chords, the equivalent of seven chords. If you change every five of the five chords 
two red, you would have an equivalent of a seven chord machine on a five chord. However, this three chord is not horribly hurt far behind. If you change out all of these chords to red chords, you would have a four and a half chord machine on this three chord. So it can be very convenient. If you have a three chord at home, unless you just really, really want to upgrade to the five chord and you have some extra money to do so with, your three chord is gonna be absolutely sufficient for a really long time. To get to four and a half chords, um, I don't even know if Marjolaine uses that much, and she's extremely strong. She certainly wouldn't use all five chords, which would be the equivalent of five and a half chords on this one. It would be too much. I've heard her say four chords before, and like I said, you could have the equivalent here of four and a half chords. You could have the equivalent with two red and one black of four chords. So your three chord machine it really has a lot of range. If it's not worn out, I mean, obviously it could be great to give to a family member if you want to upgrade. But if you want to keep it and you feel like you're missing out, you're really not. You're going to get a lot of range with this three chord. The only thing that you might miss on a three chord is that it does not have pulley risers. And now I know there are a couple models of three chords that have the pulley risers back here. This particular one does not. Pulley risers give you levels to um, begin with. You start at the top level and you're going to be um, less advanced on that particular exercise. And you can move them up and down depending on if your legs are stronger and maybe you want to go back up for your arms or vice versa. So you have some really cool range here and that, you're going to like that when you're working out. But this three chord starts at the very lowest level and this three chord it starts at the hardest for your arms and your legs. So if you're already doing a three chord machine without a pulley riser, you're already really enjoying the, the toughest, most difficult workout. Now I did hear once Marjolyn say on, I believe, QVC, a caller called in and said, hey, I have a three chord, it does not have pulley risers, but I want the pull-up bar, is there something that I can do? And she told them yes, and she didn't tell them what it was, and she said to email her. So if you have a three chord, and the only reason you want to upgrade is because you want a pull-up bar or pulley risers, then go ahead and email Marjolyn. She gives her um, email address out all the time, so it's uh, Lighter Living, is her website. You can go on there and hit the contact information and email her and ask her, you know, if that is an option for your three chord. You can tell her the model or whatever she needs to know and see if you can get pulley risers in here or a pull up bar on here if you want to upgrade your three chord. So you do not have to get rid of this machine. Now, if you, so many of your family members have been eyeing it anyway and you want to go ahead and gift it to them so that you can do a little upgrade, that's great too. But your three chord is going to really do anything that you need it to do. Um, the only exception would be maybe if your husband's really trying to build bulk, he might really like that seven chord. But I mean, I have to have my husband on here and see how, how he's, a, he's a big strong guy, to see how well he would do on a five chord. And this five chord is only equivalent to five and a half chords. If you change all of them out for red, like I said, you could do seven and a half chords. I don't even know if he would need that as a big strong guy. So it, your three chord could even be fine for your husband. Um, and the other thing you need to remember is Pilates, you're really building up your stabilizers as well as your mobilizers, and you want a balanced body, not just bulk. So this machine is really good for that as it is as a three chord. So there, that's the only difference of a three chord and five chord. This particular three chord, whoops, sorry about that. This particular three chord, however, does have the clip system, which I showed in a different video, for adjustment. And all that is is there's plastic clips down here. If I need, for instance, these cords, might be a little short, they barely go to the shoulder pads. I can reach down here and um, you can do this without looking. You just kind of feel, find the clip, unclip it, pull it down to the next level. And there's three, and what it is is three levels of hooks that you can hook it on. So I just pull it down to the next level and now I have a longer strap. So here's the original strap length, can barely hook, can't even hook on the shoulder pad, and now this strap length can hook on the shoulder pad. So I just adjusted that very quickly. Of course, I am on my hands and knees, so maybe um, if you have a, a machine on the floor, that might be difficult for you. Um, you can maybe sit on the platform and try to fill it in. It's going to be a little awkward, but it's absolutely doable. Now this adjustment system is the best adjustment system. It's a brand new adjustment system. I'll show it closer in another video, but you just have this piece of really strong plastic here and you just push in the cable according to what you want. This is probably too tight. So I can just push it in 
and pull that strap down, and now I have a longer strap. So it's a super easy. So what I do love, and I, I don't know if you can buy these straps separately. You can maybe um, contact StaminaProducts.com or even ask Marjolyn and Brugman um, on LighterLiving.com through her contact information. But um, I don't know if you can buy these separately, but if I could, I would probably put this adjustment system on every machine that we have for all of our family members. So I might check into that for you. I also really do like the double loop handles. They're not super cushiony and comfy, but they do have enough cushion. And I really like getting that little extra like hmm, inch and a half for my arm work as opposed to my leg work. Now these handles are the um, foam handles and they're actually really comfortable. I think these are considered like the cheapest type handles, but they are super comfortable when you're working out. So I really do like them. They're like squeezable, they're comfortable in your hands. So these foam handles are really great. This particular model of the three quarters is a 270, and it has these plastic clip handles. And what that means is they can be easily changed out. So if you don't like this foam, even though it's extremely comfortable, you can clip off your handle, and then if you get a D-ring handle, you can tie it onto the cable. You'd have to untie the end and tie this cable around your D-ring. So one more difference about, well actually a couple more differences about this particular three cord. Again, this is the 270. You have the clip system difference, you have the handle difference, the foam versus the double handle on this newer five cord, and the newer adjustment system, which is super easy. You also have bigger wheels on the newer models. They started that with the plus models. So this is before that. So these wheels are a little smaller, and it really does make a difference. So this five cord with the bigger wheels is easier to roll around than this three cord. Now hopefully you can have your machine somewhere where you can leave it out and you don't have to roll it back and forth. But if you do have to roll back and forth, it is a little easier with these bigger wheels. So that's a great upgrade that they did. We also have the difference of the pulley risers and the shoulder pads are a little more round and cushy. But both models have the three position headrest. So you can go up a little, up a little more, up really pretty high. So they both have that three position headrest. Oh, the other thing is you might notice is the padding. So this five cord has a little more dense padding than this three cord. But the way that this three cord is, when I lay on this three cord, it kind of gets air in there in the padding and it kind of hugs around me. So I actually do like this. This is a pretty comfortable reform. But again, this padding is better than this one, but this three core padding, the way that it is, it just kind of hugs me. The only time it might make a difference is when you're doing knee stretch or maybe Eve's lunge, it might be a little more comfortable on this if you have bad knees. But you can have, there's hacks that I'm gonna do for that later for your knees on these machines. Marjolyn Bergman has mentioned a towel, um, and I'll just, I'll run through the hacks, but I'll show you on a different video. Um, some people have cut a thick, cushy yoga mat to the size of their carriage here and laid that down. Some people use like a little garden mat or a small cut of their yoga mat just for where they're going to do their knees. So those are some things that you can do if you are having a problem with this one on your knees. Now I have a bad right knee, but it's it's really been a lot better since the two months that I've been doing this Aero Pilates. So I haven't felt it as much. So I can use this three cord with no problem. I did not have pain when I was on this. So, but if you do, there's some hacks for that. And um, you don't have to upgrade to this model that has a little more padding, because to be perfectly honest, if you have knee pain, even this padding might need a little extra um, cushion. So uh, I just wanted to make this video just so that you could decide if you have a three cord and just know that it's absolutely as good in most ways as a five cord and there's things that you can do to upgrade it, like changing out the cords, um, maybe doing a yoga pad on top if you need a little more cushion. There's a possibility of getting pulley risers or a pull-up bar in the back that you don't have to upgrade unless you just love this color or you love something about a five cord machine. The three cord machine is a really, really great machine. All right, let me know if you have any questions or any comments below. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch out this three cord for a four cord, and we're going to do the same thing between a five cord and a four cord, and it's the small four cord. And later on this channel, we will do the large four cord, which has a bigger carriage than even this five cord. Um, it's the Premier model, and we'll talk about that with a five cord. 
but stay tuned for the four chord and the five chord. Thanks for joining me. Bye. I did forget to mention one thing about this three chord that is a little more difficult than the five chord, and that's because it does not have pulley risers. When this three chord is folded up, it really has to be braced well. There have been about three times now that my three chord has just kind of slid and fallen down, and um, that can be dangerous, it can ruin your floors, it can cause trouble. So what I had to do is kind of open, when it's standing up, open it a little. So it had like a little bit of a V, so it was braced. And that may not be the most desirable. However, when you have the pulley risers in your five chord and you just lean it up against the wall, you have a pretty big gap against the wall anyway with the pulley risers and then the five chord. So the gap equivalent is pretty equal from how far you have to open a three chord to get it to be stable and from the pulley riser and the five chord. So the pulley risers do hold the five chord up, but you still have that gap that you, or that space that you have to allow. And if you took the pulley risers out of the five chord every time you stored it, um, you would probably have the same imbalance problem. You'd have to open it a little if it's standing alone or stick it by the side of the dresser or something like that so that it can be stabilized. So I just did want to mention that, and um, that's one consideration. But again, this three chord could possibly get pulley risers or a pull-up bar, and that would totally change that problem.